bad call all the way. He's downright criminal. You ought to arrest the ref. <laughs> Get your new partner to do it. New partner? Where is he? Coming out of the ladies' room. I recognize her. She's from Glenbridge, right? He was our dispatcher. Then went off to patrol in Newark for 10 years. Can't think of a tougher job. Looks like she'd make your job a hell of a lot easier. Hey, just made the biggest nicotine bust in homecoming history. Detective Brooks, Jack Scherzer, Doug Archer. Nice to meet you. Hey. It's about time they started hiring better looking cops around here. Oh, I'll take that as a compliment. Yeah, the department's changing its image. Now a bad hair day is grounds for a suspension. So, uh, why'd you ever leave Glenridge for Newark? Something about being a real cop, huh? Maybe. Newark was a little too real. Well, most dangerous thing around here is writing speeding tickets. Welcome back. you throw the ball to your own team. But hey, at least you completed a pass to somebody. This is Detective Brooks. Hi. Now I remember why everyone always wanted to be a football player around here. <laughs> <laughs> you guys get in trouble, you deal with her from now on. Well, I guess the crime rate's gonna go up. <laughs> oh. I should just arrest you all right now. On what charge? Impersonating football players. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. <laughs> You still got the rest of the town <laughs> And the homecoming king is Bryant Grober. Yeah. Paul, would you dance with me? Well, there's no music. No, I don't think so. Hi, Daddy. Hi, sweetie. You have fun tonight? Oh, boy, it was so cool. And I danced with a bunch of really cute guys, and I think Paul Archer has a crush on me. the hurry your majesty well, greetings my good man actually i was just rushing off to a little soiree with my loyal subject <laughs> yeah. very you gotta be very careful back there she may penalize you for holding oh that's very funny officer so what's the problem well just a small case of exhibition is speeding well after that game we were running from an alumni lynch mob <laughs> <laughs> not a bad idea is it barry uh -oh. no sir it's not Now, Barry, he's gone. You can stop kissing your butt goodbye then. Consider yourselves lucky. Oh, tonight these boys will be getting very lucky.
Looks like you guys are buying again. <sighs> it's great to have you back, Cal. <laughs> what are we eating? We're eating salad. The fullback there's put on a couple of pounds since his glory days. Something's up at the high school. I overheard Carl talking about a rumor going around. He said Leslie was involved in a group sex type of situation two weeks ago. Leslie Faber? Yeah. She's the girl who was dancing alone at homecoming. She's retarded. Tell them what you heard, Carl. Supposedly, she was with some guys from the football team. What guys? Well, I wasn't there, but I heard it was Paul and Chris Archer, the Scherzer twins, Peter Quigley, and Brian Grober. I guess they took her to a party in the Scherzer's basement and did things to her with a broom. And a baseball bat. Excuse me. How is that even possible? Carl, where did you hear this? Kevin. He knows I work in the AV department. He asked me to borrow a Super 8 camera because they were going to do it again, and he wanted to film it. This is a bad joke. Why would that kid Kevin even start a rumor like this? He was pulling Carl's leg, that's obvious. Kevin has a sick sense of humor. So there's no way it could have happened? No chance. The girl has problems. Sometimes it's hard to tell. The school system couldn't handle her. She had to go to special ed in West Orange. These are the good kids. They can get any girl they want. She's in a fantasy world. Maybe we should talk to him, put an end to it. Well, we've got to clear it with the county prosecutors first. Excuse me. We're looking for the head prosecutor for the sexual assault and rape analysis unit. Yes. Mr. Lorino's suite is right this way. Yo, Bobby. Yep. A couple of cops want to see you. These are serious allegations. Well, like we said, we're not saying this actually happened. Well, then what are you saying? We're just following procedures. I've known these kids their whole lives. There's nothing here. Plus, they're having a tough enough season as it is. Well, if you've known these boys their whole lives, then this is what you got to watch out for. You don't want anything in this investigation that could be perceived as biased. Hey, I've been a cop for 20 years. I know the drill. Mr. Lorino, we all just want the truth here. Please, it's Bob, and we'll do everything we can to help you. Mr. Bennett, hi. You're really pretty. Thank you. So are you. Evening, Roz. Sorry to bother you. Hi, Frank. Come in. We were told Leslie did some things with the boys. Sexual things. Sorry, but we need to check it out. We know about this already. You do? Her guidance counselor called after hearing the rumor from her swim coach. We asked Leslie about it. She said that absolutely nothing happened. She made the whole thing up. Why would she do that? Somebody was probably making fun of her, and she went along with it in order to fit in. See, she wants friends more than anything. So she hasn't said anything about the boys? Uh, just that she was dancing with them at homecoming. We saw Leslie that night. She was dancing by herself. Well... <laughs> My daughter will say anything in order to make herself seem popular. Just to be thorough, could she make a statement tomorrow? Uh, okay. Do you know why you're here, Leslie? Uh-huh, because of all the stuff people are saying about me. I heard some boys invited you to a party. No. It was just Chris. Chris. Chris Archer. 
Paul's so handsome. Paul's my hero. Did Paul invite you too? Okay. So, Chris invited you. And who else was at the party? The twins. Kevin and Kyle Scherzer. And Peter and Br Br Brian. Peter Quigley and Brian Grover. And Paul Archer. And what happened with the boys? You like this? It's my guardian angel. My mother gave it to me when I graduated the academy. What does it do? <laughs> it protects me from the bad guys. Just like I want to protect you. But these guys aren't the bad guys. No? No, they're really nice and super handsome and really awesome football players. They're your friends. Could I be your friend too? Yeah? There is no sign of trauma. Well, if this happened two weeks ago, would there still be some sign? Well, it depends on how quickly she heals. At this point, there's no way to tell for sure. You should know that she is on birth control. I didn't tell you because it didn't seem relevant. What was the purpose of putting her on birth control? <sighs> when Leslie was 11, she was molested by an older boy. That was never reported to us. Well, that was that time we were in Cape Cod. The doctors told us at the time that it was a good idea because a girl like Leslie, it might happen again. Was the boy charged? Yes, but he got the charges reduced. His family had money and got a very expensive lawyer. Were there ever any doubts about Leslie's statement? No. I mean, we have always told Leslie to stay away from strangers, but not these boys that she's known her whole life. We're not certain anything happened at all. Has she still said nothing to you? Nothing. But that is what happened the last time. Excuse me. This was her right after we brought her home. She was adopted. Mm-hmm. The adoption agency asked us if we would take a disabled child, and, um, you know, they said that her development was slow, but that she would catch up, but she never really got past being about an eight-year-old. Kids used to make fun of her. And she would cry sometimes, but she always came back with a big smile on her face. She always forgave them. These boys are so cruel to her. She loves them. Kevin said he wanted to make a movie of Leslie doing it again. He asked me to get a video camera from the AV department. He said he wanted to borrow a Super 8 camera before. Uh, well, yeah. He wanted to borrow a camera. This is serious business, son. You know what this could do to your teammates? Yes. And you admit Kevin could have been joking. Yeah. Yeah. So is that it? May I go? Yeah, go on. You won't tell anyone I was here, right? Right. It's quite a story for somebody who wasn't there. Leslie Faber? Mom, this is ridiculous. 
Did you ever invite her into the Scherzer's basement? No. <laughs> Never. I, come on, this is Leslie Faber we're talking about. We've been informed that you and your friends forced her to have sex with a bat and a broom. What in God's name are you talking about? I don't know where she gets this stuff from. I, she lives in another world. I'd never do that. I know. She's the one who's always coming down uninvited. Leslie always is trying to get attention and... Whoa! Hold on, Frank. You know I can't let you talk to my boys without a lawyer. Come on, let's go. Honey. Have you heard what Leslie's been saying? What else is new? We were all hanging out downstairs when she came down. There were six of you there? No, there's around 20. 20? Yeah, the guys from the team. Well, what were you all doing? We were just hanging out like we always do. I mean, I was playing a video game with Barry when she... Barry? Nobody else said my son was there. Maybe I'm not remembering Dude, it Was right. Barry there or not? What? I think I better talk to my parents. Where the hell are they? Well, some people do have lives, you know. Sit there. Go ahead. Take a statement. Uh, we understand that Leslie Faber was in the Scherzer's basement with you and some of your friends. Yep. Say yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I was hanging out in the corner playing a video game the whole time. What whole time? Tell her what happened. I am. Look, Leslie did some stuff. What kind of stuff? Stuff she's always doing. I mean, the girl's a freak. Why do you think she got sent to a different school? You tell me. Because she's always flirting and trying to act sexy. I mean, she's always showing them off and... You mean her breasts? Yeah. And it's not our fault she got naked. I mean... She was naked? Yeah, but... All right. That's enough. Let's go. Since your son implicated himself, I'm gonna have to... Take me off the case, yeah. Yeah. I'll supervise Detective Brooks from now on. I'm sorry about this, Lieutenant. It's all yours, Detective. Was Leslie transferred to West Orange because of, quote, inappropriate sexual behavior? No. That wasn't her fault. I mean, sometimes she acts the fool, you know, she acts silly just so that she'll get friends. All right. We understand that before West Orange, Leslie attended another school, Columbia High. And while Leslie was attending Columbia High, there was an incident at lunchtime. Well, the teachers there said that some boys said some nasty things to her and she went along with it just so that they would like her. So she was acting, what, in, inappropriately, provocatively? <laughs> yes, but she, she doesn't really understand what she's doing. Mrs. Faber, forgive me for the offensiveness of this question, but I have to ask it. Is it at all possible that your daughter understands more about sex than you think she does? My daughter is a child. 
And if somebody touches her, a friend, she thinks that that's a nice thing. She doesn't think that's a sexual thing. Nice five-page report, Carl. What? You weren't even there, man. You don't know how she was acting. I didn't tell him. You lied to the police. And now you're lying to us. Carl. You promised you wouldn't say it was me. Everybody knows I talked. Uh, how? They knew I... my statement was five pages. Somebody had to tell him. Carl. I mean, I wouldn't even look at Leslie Faber. You gotta be kidding me. I got out of there fast. I didn't even see anything anyways with all those guys in front of me. Well, if you couldn't see anything, why'd you get out of there fast? Cuz. She's always flirting and acting nasty. I used to feel bad for her. But not just she's been running around telling lies about us. It's disgusting. They make her sound like the Lolita of Essex County. <laughs> yeah, those poor boys were just defenseless against that seductress. Where I went to school, those little candy asses couldn't make pep score. I mean, three wins out of 18 games, please. See, one person who was there that night to admit what happened, just one. Without that, there's no case. I still haven't talked to the Scherzer boys. Her father won't return my phone calls. Well, we're just gonna have to find another way to get We need you to approve these arrest warrants for the Scherzer twins. Every voluntary witness says she was acting provocatively. Well, that's what guys say in gang rape situations. Gang rape? In Glen Ridge? From what I can see, these guys wouldn't touch this girl with a 10-foot pole. Maybe that's why they used a broom. Excuse me, Protective, but you don't have to try this case. We do. And all we've got is a rumor spread by one mentally disabled teenager. Who just might be telling the truth. We'll have to take on the boys, their parents, Glenn Ridge, and the best defense attorneys in the state, and there's no way a jury will convict without an absolute airtight case. And right now, we don't have one. to show how cool they are. And all the girls bow down to them. I mean, it's like this town has been breeding jock mutants for years. And I'm sick of everybody kissing their butts. I mean, if some gig or guido or deadhead was suspected, they'd be toast already. Well, what makes you believe they're participating in a gang rape? <sighs> what are you kidding me? These guys have been into twisted stuff for years. I mean, pornos, flashing, voyeurs. Voyeurs? Yeah, they have sex with a girl, and their buddies hide in the closet and watch. I mean, it's completely porkies. They live for it. And what, does everybody know about this? Yeah, everyone knows. Kevin stole $600 from the girl's purses at this uh, lame Christmas candy cane ball thing, and his daddy paid it back. I mean, nobody did anything to him. Why not? Sports. Sports, 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 sports. I mean, don't you get it? Everything is sports in Glen Ridge. At the assembly, they spent two and a half hours honoring sports and like, like 15 minutes on academics. I mean, they let these guys get away with murder. One of the guys stole 35 bucks from my purse. Which one? I don't know. I didn't tell anyone because I didn't want them doing anything else to me. Like what? Diane, they're not gonna find out that you said anything. I found out about Carl. I had nothing to do with that. I don't know how that happened. I promise you this is confidential. They're always shoving me and pushing me against lockers. After band practice, they steal my flute and make rude jokes about me playing with it. And what do the teachers do about that? The guys do it when nobody's around. Kevin likes to pull down his pants and expose himself. They make you feel this big. They tear your emotions right out of you. 
You have to go. Yo, Mr. Hampton, how about some pie? Hey, Mr. H, what's going on? Yeah. Yeah. You know, guys, oh. this was going to be on the house, but now it's on you! Look, I know these guys are SOBs, but I can't find anybody to tell me anything. There's nothing else you can do. Without any hard evidence or one eyewitness, I can't get arrest warrants for the Scherzer or the Archer brothers. No. Well, if nothing happens, everybody's going to think that Leslie made this whole thing up. She's the one who's going to get punished for this. Maybe this was all a big mistake. Mommy, Mommy! Look what I made. Hey, Leslie. Say hi. Hi. What you got there? That's me. Do you like it? I like it very much. What are you doing here? That's me when I was five. Mm -hmm. And I'm really happy and I'm holding a balloon. Okay. And this is a picture of you today? What is the girl in the picture thinking? Just how life turns around in different places. Great job, Leslie. Now I'm I'm going to ask you to do something a little bit more difficult. The girl's face has no features except for her mouth. Mm -hmm. From my experience with rape victims, this would indicate that she was used in a sexual manner. She drew a smile on this boy's face. That would be Brian Grover. Here, she didn't even draw arms or legs on herself, suggesting she was in a helpless state when Kyle gave Kevin the broom to use on her. And she said that it was Kevin using the broom. Here she claims Chris used a bat on her. The dark shading there indicates severe trauma. This entire sequence shows Leslie deteriorating. By the time they used a stick on her, she appears a featureless non-person. We never heard that a, a stick was used on her. You think she made that up? Well, the psychologist doesn't believe that, uh, that Leslie could fabricate this. Is it enough to get a warrant? We don't know. But we have a much better shot if you press charges. Yeah. What will the official charge be? Conspiracy and aggravated sexual assault. Under New Jersey law, it's equivalent to rape. Forgive me, I don't know how this works. We take this to a grand jury, and, and they determine whether or not it goes on to trial. And will Leslie have to testify in front of the grand jury? We usually do ask the victim to take the stand. Usually, but, but not always. Leslie can't refuse anyone who says they're her friend. So what if she actually never told them no? Well, New Jersey law protects mentally disabled victims, those who don't know that they have the right to refuse sexual advances. And I'll argue that Leslie is incapable of consenting to these acts, and, and that it goes against her nature to resist, even if she could. And you must be prepared. The defense will do whatever they can to expose her personal life. But we'll do our best to protect her. It just feels like she's going to be raped all over again. We moved 
from Brooklyn 20 years ago. It was all concrete back there. We thought this was going to be our little patch of green. Thought it would be safe. So did I. So you love sports, huh? Yeah. Me too. Let's play. OK. Did you play basketball coverage? No. Baseball. I'm not going to beat you because I like you. Oh, OK. Yeah, you're doing a great job not beating me down. How about letting me have the ball? Show you a trick. You're a little tense. Relax. <laughs> All right. Forget about everything else. Focus on the net. Focus on the net. Yeah. Focus on the net. Focus on the net. All right. All right. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Mr. Scherzer. Uh, it's Detective Brooks. I, I, I finally reached you. I need you to bring in Kevin and Kyle for questioning. I think you should talk to Mr. Palick about that, Detective Brooks. Who's Mr. Palick? Well, he's a big defense lawyer. Bigger pain in the ass. Hello, Detective Brooks. Hello, sir. I need to question your clients. And until you have a warrant, I'd like you to leave them alone. Take that as a no. Guys, guys, check this out. Look who was on our trophy case. Arrest rapist jocks. Oh. Brain dead education leads to molestation. Or some that punk's man. been putting them up all over school. Who do you think's doing it, man? All I know is he's a dead man. Whoa, whoa, just don't worry about it. We didn't do anything. They put him up, we take him down. Hi, Mrs. Archer. Hi, Leslie. You always look so beautiful. Well, thank you, dear. Are your parents here? We just wanted to tell you how sorry we are about the whole incident. We just feel horrible about this. Look, our kids grew up together, and whatever happened is obviously unfortunate for everyone. And we hope to uh, come to some kind of understanding so we could all move on. How would you suggest doing that? Well, before the whole thing snowballs out of control, we were thinking the uh, boys could uh, do some kind of community service or something. Are you trying to negotiate your way out of this? No. No, we, uh, we just thought you'd want to get closure and move on with your lives. Her daughter was raped. Well, that's what she tells you. Look, I'm sorry. Uh, no one wants this to get ugly. It already has. But now it's in the hands of the police. Much longer, Mom. Just a little bit. I need a few more things. Oh, what do you need? I need some apples. I oh, need... I'll get the apples. Can I? I'll get the apples. All right, just be careful. horrible, but you still don't have one eyewitness to back up our story. That doesn't mean it didn't happen. Is that a detective's intuition or a woman's? Both. Well, you still don't have enough to move forward. Even if something happened, how do you know it wasn't consensual? Since when does consensual sex involve a bat and a broom? Leslie! Leslie, get off the ground. Come on! Daddy's waiting for us. Hi, Mrs. Faber. I'm John. Hi, John. I went to elementary school with Leslie. Come on, honey. We have to go. Come on. Hey, it's good, Axel. We're calling the bump. 
for it. Who cares? The party. What's that? like making videos, right? There's a camera right there. We got an anonymous tip about an alleged rape at Glen Ridge. Would anyone care to comment on that? No. How we go, guys? Come on. The jocks did it, but nobody's done anything and nothing's happened. Why do you think that is? Because these are the Golden Boys. Nobody wants to see the good name of Glen Ridge destroyed, but everyone knows they did it. You're a liar! Why is that? Because you wanted it! Oh, Bennett. It's been widely rumored that a group of popular Glen Ridge athletes raped a 17-year-old mentally challenged girl some months ago. You're a liar! Why is that? Because she wanted it! Go, Bennett. One of the accused boys is the son of a local police lieutenant. Bob, you gotta get Stevens to see this. Because she wanted it! Go, Bennett. One of the accused boys is the son of a local police lieutenant which has some people demanding to know why the boys haven't been charged yet. This is Bob Richards, Action News. Haul their asses in and book them. We should have brought them all in. We can only arrest the ones who she said actually attacked her. To the charges of conspiracy to commit sexual assault, aggravated sexual assault, and aggravated criminal sexual contact, how do you plead? Not guilty. Not guilty? Not guilty. I'm referring your case to the prosecutor's office for possible grand jury action. <clears throat> the three defendants who are legal adults were arraigned in Superior Court. The judge set bail at $25,000. The two younger defendants, both 17, were arraigned in family court today. Not guilty. Not guilty. Both the younger boys can receive up to four years in a juvenile correction facility if convicted. The three adult age offenders face a maximum of 40 years in prison. Oh the victim is a mildly retarded young woman. No! How could you lie and say? The problem isn't Glen Ridge, uh, it's the media trying to embarrass us to get their story. These boys are innocent until anything is proven. Well, this whole thing's gotten way out of hand. I mean, how do you take the words of a girl like that over a group of boys that we all know and love? You'll see when the truth comes out. You'll, you'll be ashamed you ever brought your cameras into our town. This is such a tragedy. They're such beautiful boys, and this will scar them forever. She's a complete slut. She's a total whore. I can't even believe she would try and ruin the senior guy's year. All right, everybody, now, calm down. This has been a traumatic period for most of you. But we must demonstrate our solidarity and stand by our boys. You gotta be out of your mind. You want us to support them? Settle down, settle down. Listen, we need to stand together as a school and find a way to go on. How can we go on with rapists in our class? Yeah. How do I know you won't rape me too? You're too ugly to get raped. No, shut up. Oh, you wanna die? You wanna go? Hi, I'm Lisa. I'm from the New Jersey Gazette newspaper. I was wondering if we could go somewhere and talk. Well, my parents said that I shouldn't say nothing. You can trust me. 
I want to help. A victim's story, a painful act followed by a deep hurt. I know. Mm. Wait. I love this part. Wait, right here. Read that. Leslie says, some of it I allowed because I didn't think they'd like me if I didn't. <laughs> oh, she has dug her own grave. Well, guys, they got no choice but to let us back into school now. So, I hope so, man, because this whole thing's getting really old, right? <laughs> Sorry. Right. Leslie said she wouldn't talk to anybody. You have no idea what it's been like. The tabloids have been calling us. They've been offering us gifts. The phone rings up yes, the hook. Yes, I understand, but we have to make sure she doesn't do this again. For her own protection, she'll need more adult supervision. And, and she'll have to come home immediately after school. No more You have to keep a constant eye on her. Yes. Why? I didn't do anything. Oh, no, you know that, sweetheart. No, why can everybody go outside and play with You'll me? You'll to go and play with me. No, I won't. And you said friend. you were my friend. You're not. You're a liar. You're all liars. Everyone was horrified at the wilding gang rape of a jogger in Central Park several months ago. But the kids arrested in the suburban haven of Glen Ridge are white and upper middle class. Privileged kids who are free on bail after allegedly luring a retarded girl from this park to this darkened basement of the house directly behind me. Earlier tonight, I spoke with school superintendent Ira Scott about this horrible tragedy. Most of us still don't believe the boys could be guilty of this type of misconduct. Misconduct? You mean gang rape? Special ed student told his teacher. A boy Carl has received counseling before. Carl wasn't there during the alleged... She said state, his name. So I can't believe his statement. Do you know this woman? I've never even met her. Whatever the outcome, the Glen Ridge arrests are certain to intensify the public outrage over teen crime and its causes. This is Bob Richards reporting... Boys are gonna get it. Thanks for that report, Bob. And now the boys are gonna get it. Hey, you want to get on this? Hello? Hello? Is this where the lying niggers live? Why can't I go out and play? Because I you want can't to go out and listen to play. me. You cannot For go all outside. my birthdays, I'm I allowed know. to do Not whatever this I time. want. And I want to go out and play. Listen, Leslie. Leslie, don't open that door, honey. Come, come on. Leslie, you, you can't go out there. Well, look, there's Debbie. Come Leslie. on, Debbie. Happy Debbie girl. Hey, Leslie. Who is there? Leslie. Who is there? Honey, Leslie. stay away Wait, from the window. This is the Stepford town. Nobody's saying anything about those little creeps. Why are you blaming Leslie? Maybe because she's the one ruining this town with a vicious rumor. It's the truth. Kelly, what is your problem? You don't even have any real evidence that these guys even did this. You think I wanted this case? Yeah. You know, I think you do. And this is why you went off to Newark to be a cop, isn't it? You don't know anything about Newark. I wanted to make a difference. Oh, and did you? No, okay? I didn't make a difference. Kel, it, 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 that doesn't make it okay for you to come back here and ruin people's lives. It's a shocking controversy. A group of respected high school athletes say that she stripped and performed sexual acts. She says it was rape. As has been noted, this young lady is mentally impaired. And now a new development, an attorney has come forward to say that he represented a young man several years ago who was accused of similar crimes by the same young woman. My God, what have we done? Settled, and his client never spent any time in jail. This is a tremendous boost for the defense who have suggested the girl has been known to be sexually promiscuous, even seductive. Her mother was right. They're raping her all over again. Well, this is just the beginning. Hi. We need your signature on the petition. The school board won't let the guys graduate unless we speak up. You guys, you gotta wear a ribbon. You gotta support them. 
So, the board has commissioned an independent judge to report on how the school has responded in handling this incident. What's this about the kids passing around a petition defending these guys? Almost all the seniors agreed the boys should be allowed to attend graduation. My daughter didn't sign that, and she won't go if they go. The school board rejected the petition. Why? Nothing's been proven against these boys. What about the presumption of innocence? What about when they're found guilty? You want your kid's graduation photo with a bunch of rapists? The boys will not be attending graduation ceremonies. No. You can't stop them from going to the post-graduation party. Hey, come on, everybody. Let's we'll show our guys we support them. Here, take a ribbon. Come on, put it on. All right, everybody, we got to put these ribbons on and show everybody we care. It brings to mind the saying, through adversity comes strength. And heaven knows the class of 89 has faced tremendous adversity these past few months. But I am proud to say they are stronger for it. Paul Archer. Barry Bennett. Carl Brewer. That was awful back there. I, I, I just wanted you to know that I had nothing to do with Carl's statement getting out. Nothing. said he went near Leslie. Just want to question him again as a spectator, okay? He doesn't have to come in. But I thought, as his father, you'd want him to volunteer his version of what happened. We could just clear this whole thing up. They were disgusted and wanted her out. She wouldn't go. And so she started begging for things, a bat, stick, broom, whatever. Finally, someone just gave it to her. Who gave it the broom? I think it might have been uh, Kevin or Chris. And did they hold it too? It was mainly her. What's this about a stick? I don't know. Uh, there's a bunch of guys in front of me, so I couldn't see. Thanks for getting me out of my house. <laughs> no problem. Thank you. <laughs> So you think you could trust me again? Yeah. Wesley, uh, I need you to help me with something. I think I understand everything that's happened to you, but I don't understand the stick. Tell me about the stick. Oh, my lucky stick, the one I found in the park. That's what Barry did to me. Why didn't you tell us about Barry before? 
I was afraid I didn't want to get you in trouble. Detective Bennett is her boss. All right, tell us exactly what happened. The whole truth this time. After the Batman from Barry's sick, I told him it hurt, but he wouldn't stop. Did anyone else do anything to you? Paul asked me to play with him. Paul Archer? Leslie, why didn't you talk about him before? Why? What did he do? Talk to your other son. You promised me he wouldn't be charged. Lieutenant, I did not. The victim ID'd him as a suspect. Dad, do something. This is a witch hunt. She keeps changing her story. Who are you gonna arrest next? Frank! Can I go, please, please? Mari, that's the girl you used to play basketball with? Yeah, and she knows I've been inside a really, really long time, and she wants me to go out with her. Can I go, please, please? Just make sure you're home in an hour. You're so sweet to hang out with me. Not too many people like me anymore. Because of all the stuff that's going on? Yeah. I don't think I've ever met a girl as cool as you. I can't stay out too long. I, I gotta go to the court tomorrow. What are you gonna tell him? I'm not sure. But didn't you say that, that you were forced by Chris Archer and Kevin Scherzer? Yeah. I, I'm not real sure. But you do remember being in the basement. Yeah. But I'm not real sure what up in there right now. She doesn't want to go through with that. Well, something happened. A girl named Mari Ferez had a conversation with Leslie. I think you'll find it interesting. Really? Would you do it again, though? Yeah, I mean, sex is the best thing. You did have fun. Yeah. Chris Archer's one of the sexiest guys I ever went with. But you've done this stuff before, haven't you? Yeah, with a lot of guys. If you had to do it all over again, you'd go down to the basement, right? If you went down with me. Have you ever lied to your lawyers? Yeah, one person. But if I tell you, you can't tell anybody. I promise. Barry Bennett really didn't do anything to me. I just said it because they wouldn't get off my back. Are people telling you what to say and stuff? Yeah, all those bitches and bastards won't get... I mean, I don't need these stupid people telling me what to do. Isn't that nice? I can't believe she said those things. She lied about Barry. Oh, and everything else. She had fun. She enjoyed it. She loves sex, and she obviously hates us. She ain't exactly my favorite person, either. Did you ever talk to a girl named Mari about the case? No. You did have fun. Yeah, and, and Chris Archer, he put his arm around me and, oh my God, it was great. Chris Archer. 
thought she was one of the sexiest guys I ever went with. But you've done this stuff before, haven't you? Yeah, with a lot of guys. I'm very experienced. I've been doing this stuff since I was, like, little. But she's my friend. No, Leslie. She taped you. She tricked you. She is not your friend. Why did you tell her that? Bennett do anything to you or not? I told you he did! So you lied to Mari? to the station? It's gonna be hell catching a cab now. Uh, no thanks, I'm gonna walk. Walk? Through the shooting gallery? Hey, I patrol these streets. You don't go out there at night alone. I've been doing it for 10 years. It's my exercise. Okay. And I hope you carry a Bible. Or a bazooka. Good night.
chubby. This is great stuff. No, it's a disaster. The defense only played us excerpts, but when you listen to the unedited tapes, it's clear that Mars played a cat and mouse game, asking Leslie leading questions till she gets the answers she wants. Listen. If you had to do it all over again, you'd go down to the basement, right? I'd be scared her. I don't know. Say no one would ever find out about it. No one opened their mouths. Would you do it again? The defense believes that these boys were victimized by Leslie Faber, that she is an insatiable seductress. But ask yourselves if what you've just heard could be an attempt by the defense and Mari Ferez to manipulate a mentally challenged victim into saying things that aren't true. This is a desperately lonely girl who will do anything to get a friend, who will say anything to be a friend. The grand jury indicted Kevin and Kyle Scherzer, Peter Quigley, and Barry Bennett on the charges of aggravated sexual assault, aggravated criminal sexual contact, and conspiracy. A trial date has now been set. In a surprising turn, a scheme by the defense backfired when Murray Carmen Faraz was indicted on charges of witness tampering and obstruction of justice. Indictments against the other three defendants, Chris and Paul Archer and Brian Grover, are still pending until it is determined whether they will be tried as juveniles or adults. I'm in here. Look what someone put on the front lawn. Oh, my God. It gets worse. School officials cleared. Independent judges report false victims' parents. What? Yeah. It says we didn't follow up on the swim coach's concerns. Well, how would this judge know what happened? Nobody ever questioned us. He didn't question us. This is not an independent judge's report. The school hired him. Yeah. And surprise, the school <laughs> is not held responsible for anything. So, first Leslie's to blame, and now her parents are at fault. Why the mass denial here? Well, I'm not a cynic, but I gotta say, I'm not surprised at all. I'm not surprised that the parents are rallying around their boys. Why not? Our culture is obsessed with achievement and winning. Now, it's not just the parents, they pass it on to their kids. I guarantee you, these boys were brought up to believe that winning is everything, and to dominate the weak. Eventually, they start to believe that they're invincible and entitled, beyond reproach. Everyone here has strived for something, and they're not about to let a little retarded girl ruin it for them. Ruin what? The American dream. I'm taking you off the case. You should be running your department, not back and forth to court. This Glen Ridge thing just goes on and on. I'm reassigning Heller and Winston. But they don't have any experience trying rape cases. They'll get it on this one. I, I think you're making a big mistake. Well, President Bush values my judgment. I've just taken a post in his administration. It's my last week here. Jim has been promoted to chief prosecutor. Congratulations. It's been good working with you, Bob. That SOB took Bobby off the case. Where is he? He's not here. Big brother Lewis, Lewis, Kelly. Hi, nice to meet you. How you doing? Do you want to play catch? Do you? N uh, no. <laughs> all right, Lou, I got to talk to her for a couple minutes, and we'll play some catch, all right? All right. See you in a bit, man. He seems nice. He can throw a pretty good temper tantrum when he wants to, but uh, he's actually a lot like Leslie. He really wants to be normal, but he knows just enough to realize that there's something different about him. That hurts. You always looked out for him, huh? We looked out for each other. It's easier now, but when we were kids, oh, we grew up with guys like these Glen Ridge boys. They, uh, well, kids, kids can be real bastards sometimes. 
It must have been hard looking out for a big brother. Yeah. It was harder on him, I think. When I got home from college, Lou and I went driving in my dad's car. Lou wasn't allowed to drive, of course, which got him mad. He kept trying to grab the wheel, you know. He's my older brother. Why can't he drive? Why can't he have some fun, too? I couldn't make him understand it, you know? Because he's always believed that, that he was a normal boy. And normal boys in the suburbs, they drive. That was tough. Never wanted to humiliate him like that again. That's why you don't drive. Yeah. And it's, it's good exercise, too. You gotta be stopped, Bob. Get back on this case. I'd like you to reconsider Stevens' decision. Stevens ran this office his way. Now I run it mine. I've already found the right man to prosecute Glenn yeah, but I've, I've worked on this for three years. I... Get your ass back to work on this case, Bob. I've assigned Elizabeth Hall to his sister. Thank you. The best shot we've got at a conviction is to go after the guys who actually raped her. Well, that's Chris, Kevin, Kyle, and Brian. Now, the appellate court's rule that they can be tried as adults. But because Barry gave incriminating evidence against the others, he'll get a separate trial. Yeah, and well, now we have no choice but to let go of Peter Quigley and Mari Carmen Ferrance. Okay. What about Paul Archer? He was the bait that got Leslie down there in the first place. We can't let him walk. Well, no one has ever said that Paul actually penetrated her with a bat or a broom. I think we'll lose if we don't focus on the main culprits. If, if we could cut a deal with Paul and get him to implicate his brother, then that would give us the goods we need to nail these guys. No, I won't do it. Paul, I know this must be hard for you, but wh why all of a sudden do you think they'll win? I don't. As your attorney, it's my duty to tell you this is a sound plea bargain. You're not the main culprit. But if I plead guilty, this will make everyone else look guilty, too. This is about you not spending 40 years in jail. You won't have to implicate them. To the misdemeanor charge of endangering a mentally incompetent person, how do you plead? Guilty. Mr. Archer, would you please describe the crime to which you're pleading? Can I do it by questioning him? In the basement, did you see an act of oral sex between Leslie Faber and Brian Grover? Yeah. Did you also see your brother Christopher and Kevin Scherzer taking turns putting a broomstick and a bat into her? Yeah. Did you take steps to stop this? No. But we're not guilty, so let's put her on the stand and, and everyone will see what a liar she is. Yes, I know, but Paul's testimony might sway a jury. Now, do you want to risk rolling the dice on something like that? No deal. I'm not doing any jail time for that slut. You want to do 40 years if you're convicted? Look, but that she stripped, okay? She begged for it. And we did not do one thing she didn't want us to do. That's right. Hey, listen, man. Any jail time for me is going to be a death sentence. Nobody's going to jail. Our neighbors, the minister, Everybody's behind us. They've donated thousands of dollars to our defense fund. Yeah, I know a couple of girls who want to give their college funds. We'll win this thing. Absolutely. Let's go to trial. Bring it on. Jail is where you go when you're bad, isn't it? It's like when you do something wrong and, and you get grounded. It, it is a punishment, but it's not forever. I know you're my friend, and if I lie in court, I'll hurt you, and I, I don't want to do that. But if I tell the truth, I, I'll hurt my friends. The state calls Leslie Faber. 
Hi, Leslie. Leslie, on November 7th, 1988, who'd you see in Carteret Park? A group of boys. Can you tell me their names? Think, think real hard, Les, okay? Put on a, a thinking cap. And tell me who came over and talked to you. Was it more than one boy? We'll, uh, we'll come back to that question. Do you remember what the boy said to you? Hi, what's up? And, and what else? Nothing, nothing else. Now, Leslie, some people have said that you're retarded. Not me, Les, but some people. But that's not true, is it? Why do kids used to call me that at school? But I don't look retarded, do I? No. You're perfect. Because you don't want to hurt anybody, do you? No. Les, who is this big guy here? Um, he's a football player. He's Kyle. No, wait. He's Kevin. And you don't want to hurt him, do you? No. I don't want to hurt nobody. And I know that they don't give a hoot about me, but I care about them. Uh, Leslie, uh, who was it that said that they don't care about you? They did. Uh-huh. But, but you've known him for a long time, all your life. And he's always been nice to you, hadn't he? He was... He never spent very much time with me, but that's just because he has his other friends, you know? I know that you like him, don't you? Yeah. Maybe more than like him. Yeah. You, uh, love him a little bit? Maybe a lot? She was up all night. She knows she lied. Maybe you could say something to her. No. You have to. What happens in there? This is gonna protect you, okay? Okay. Okay. As long as you tell the truth, everything's gonna be okay. Okay? Okay. Are you able to remember who talked to you that day in Carteret Park? Really? Okay. Do you remember what else was said to you? Yeah. They said if I went into the basement, 
Pa would take me on a date. And who told you that? I, I'm not sure. Tell me. Tell me what happened in the Scherzer's basement. I walked down and it was kind of romantic. Do you remember who took you on this romantic walk into the basement? It was... Nobody, I, I don't know. Your Honor, I'd like to present Exhibit S8 to help refresh the witness recollection. Your Honor, I have to object. These pictures are just hearsay. Prosecution is trying to lead the witness. This is somewhat unusual, but under the circumstances, I'll allow. Objection overruled. Thank you. Blinds, please. Leslie? Who is this? That's me. That's my drawing. When you were happy? Yeah. How did you know that? Well, you drew a smile. Were you happy because you were playing with your friends? Yeah. Everyone used to play with me then. Your smile, Leslie. <laughs> you said it was supposed to be a party. Well, it is kind of a party. <laughs> 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 Did you want to do that? No. But they said, go on, we'll be your friends. Who told you that? I don't remember. Listen. Do you remember what this is? The broom. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, let's play a joke on him. All right. Don't be scared. <laughs> 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 hey, Kim. Maybe you should stop. I think I heard you. I was crying to myself. Tears were coming out of my eyes. They made me. Who made you? <laughs> what are they doing? Hurting me.
Who were the boys that did this to you? They told you not to tell, didn't they? I made a promise. What did they say they'd do if you told? They said... Well, tell your mom. I won't tell anybody. That's good. So we're all on the same team, right? <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Why did you wait in the park? For Paul to come out for a date. I thought he wanted to go out with me. Why didn't you ever tell the boys to leave you alone? I didn't want to hurt their feelings. But did they hurt your feelings? Yes. And were you trying not to hurt their feelings yesterday? Yes. By lying? I guess I lie sometimes because I love my friend. I love him as long as I can remember. Are any of the boys that were in the basement in the court today? Yes. Could you point them out and tell me who they are? Madam Forelady, what is the jury's verdict? Guilty. 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 I sentence you to the custody of the Department of Corrections for an indeterminate term, not to exceed 15 years. You will remain free on bail until your appeals are decided. seen this happen before. Convicted rapists walking free on bail. Never. It could take years before they exhaust all their appeals and serve any time. Now, part of me wants revenge because this doesn't feel like justice. Yeah, well, if they were urban kids, they'd be in jail already. Are you kidding? If they were urban kids, they'd have been executed by now. Well, the only thing that matters to me is that Leslie told the truth. Hey, that was great. Yeah, you got good, huh? Well, I've had a lot of time to practice. See you. That's okay. I like Mrs. Archer. She's a great lady. My daughter has a good heart. She was raised that way. Over the next four years, all the defendants remained free on bail. Kevin Scherzer and Chris Archer, both serving a prison term of up to 15 years, will be eligible for parole after serving only three and a half. Kyle Scherzer, serving a prison term of up to seven years, is now eligible for parole. 
Brian Grober, convicted of third-degree conspiracy to commit aggravated criminal sexual assault, was sentenced to three years of probation and 200 hours of community service. Paul Archer, Peter Quigley, and Mari Ferez entered a pretrial intervention program and subsequently had their records expunged. All charges against Barry Bennett were dropped. Eventually, Detective Bennett retired from the Glen Ridge Police Department, where Detective Kelly Brooks was promoted to the rank of sergeant. Robert Lorino continues his work as a prosecutor. The Archers and the Scherzers moved, but Leslie and her parents, to this day, continue to live in Glen Ridge. <laughs>